Hello Facebook! Hi everybody, Jamie here. It is cocktail time with Jamie. And um, I am going to be making a mez counter today, so stay tuned for that. Before I begin, I will go through our specials, some upcoming events that we're going on here at Aroma Time, some really cool, fun things that we have planned. I'll give everybody a few minutes here to log in and join me. Hello, Susan. If you are watching me live, you can put hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, please put hashtag replay. I'd love to see that you are on. The more people that share this, the more people that will get to view it. So hello, Matthew. So tonight we have our wine dinner. It's four wines in a dish for $29. So that is tonight. Marcus has picked out Hello. Marcus has picked out the wines for this evening. So we have two whites, two reds. There is still room to join us. That starts at 6.30. Hello, Terry. Hello, Matthew. Thank you, everybody, for watching me. I really appreciate it. We are open tonight. It is Monday, so our doors just open. So come on in. Enjoy dinner with us this evening. We are open till about 9, 9.30 tonight. Our kitchen is open until 9, 9.30. Uh, hello, Sven. Hola. Nice to see you on. Thank you everybody for watching me. It's always great to see so many great familiar names on joining me, uh, especially for uh, these uh, cocktails. So let's see. So tonight we have our buy one get one free tuna. It is buy one get one free to go tuna. It's our rare sesame crusted tuna. Tonight is the last night for that. That is to go only. We also are closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so don't forget we're closed Tuesday and Wednesday. Back open on Thursday. Our new takeout special will begin on Thursday, so watch for that. Let's see, we have Albie. Albie is playing here on Friday night from seven to 10. We have a cocktail dinner on Monday, next Monday, so a week from today. We have a cocktail dinner. It is with Journeyman. Uh, we just got some of their some of their spirits in. Oh, that's not it. Let me grab so I can show you. Um, let's see. So we have their uh, their rye. We have their coffee liqueur, which is really awesome. That will be added now to our uh, coffee uh, espresso martinis. So this is really good coffee liqueur, even on the rocks, it is really good. And I believe we also got their bourbon. So we have three new, new spirits from Journeyman uh, Distillery. They are out of, where are they out of? Minnesota, right Marcus? Uh, they're right near Chicago. Right near Chicago. An hour outside of Chicago. So an hour outside of Chicago. Um, their stuff tastes delicious. So come on in, try it. Come to our dinner on Monday night. It is four cocktails, so not large, they're not like a full pour cocktail, but they're about two ounces each cocktails. You'll get four of them, four cocktails and a dish, chef's choice dish for $29. I think I'll definitely be making an espresso martini. I know there's some other really cool things in there as well that I'll be making. That menu will be available hopefully by the weekend, so you can check that out. Um, and then our dish will, Marcus always plans that dish um, as Monday rolls around. So that is next Monday. Tonight is a wine dinner. We have Adele and Jeremy back the following Friday. So not this Friday, the following Friday, which I think is the, what is the date, Marcus? Next Friday, the 27th, I believe. So that is next Friday. So catch Adele and Jeremy on a Friday from seven to 10. We just put a rosé tasting in our garden available. Um, we'll be doing that, I think that's June 12th. That's on a Sunday. And we're bringing back our famous crawfish boil, and that will be in July. So July 24th, we will be doing two seatings for the crawfish boil out in our garden, a three o'clock seating and a five o'clock seating. So stay tuned for all of that. Watch our website, watch our Facebook, our Facebook page. All of the details will be on there. Please make reservations for all those events. Um, Albie is on, so Albie, I'm sure you'll be posting an event for this Friday, but please come and watch Albie. Make reservations, because we do get super busy uh, for music. We're not doing it every week now, so we do get busy when we do have music. So catch us, uh, come on in and catch us. So today I'm gonna be making a mezcal drink. Courtney got all the ingredients together for me. So we'll be using um, this mezcal right here. Uh, rompe, rompe, Corazon? Rompe, yeah. Rompe, Corazon. We'll be putting violet liqueur from Gifford. 
we'll be using a wild cherry liqueur. This is new to us. Uh, lime juice, and I'm going to be putting a splash of agave. So let's go ahead and get shaken. All right, so I'll put a little bit of agave in there. I am going to add two ounces of mezcal. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like mezcal. This one is not super, super smoky. Um, Marcus does a lot of videos on what mezcal is, what tequila is, what citol is. There's other ones too, Bacanora and what's and Resilia. So um, check out his um, check out his Facebook lives, which he does usually in the mornings. And you can check out the differences between them because it's pretty cool. Or come on into Aroma Time when Marcus is here, he'll be happy to explain them all to you. So, uh, mezcal, so two ounces of mezcal, a half an ounce, or uh, a half an ounce of violet liqueur, a half an ounce of cherry liqueur. And you can play around with the ingredients, you can add more, take some away. That's the fun part about making a cocktail at home. Or come here and let us try some cool cocktails for you. About five squirts, so about a half an ounce of lime juice. I'm going to go ahead and shake that on up. So thank you everybody for watching me. I really appreciate it. Hello, Cam, Michael, Albie, uh, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, uh, is Marcus going to be there? He unfortunately missed the last one. Yes, he did miss the last one. He is here. He's working on our new cider menu. We just got some really cool ciders in from the Finger Lakes. We also got a new raspberry cider in from Fabio at West Wind Orchards, which is right up the road from us in um, Accord. So we are upping our cider list. We're upping our tequilas. We are really bringing in some really new cool fun um, spirits. So, ice oh, cider. And an ice cider. So By the glass. Here, show them both. So, this one's coming back on our menu. All right. So here is an ice cider from South Hill Cidery, which is up in near Ithaca, in Ithaca, New York, so in the Finger Lakes. Uh, this will be by the glass now, so that, that's pretty cool. This is coming back. This is an ice cider from France. Um, we had this on our list, and we just got this pre-pandemic, so we just got that back. We have a really cool, let me pour this drink first. Now I'm gonna show you our really cool new Corvon system. So um, let me go ahead and pour this away. Ooh, look at that color. Yum. And I'm gonna put a, let's see, what should I put on there? It's a lime cork? Yeah. Put a, a lime. As most of you know, I am trying to, all of my drinks now, I really want them all to have garnishes. Look at that cute little lime. So we'll put that on. And put another one on there. And so sun kiss is what this is called. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. See how it tastes? Look how cute that looks. Mm, let's give it a taste. Mmm. A little smoky, a little violet, a little sweet, a little cherry in there. Really nice. Um, wonderful. So add a cherry. Thanks, Sven. I will add a cherry as well. I will add one of our filthy cherries. Good thinking. Sometimes I forget what we have. So thanks. A little cherry. So we use black cherries. They're called filthy cherries. That'll float right down to the bottom. But there's a cherry in there. There is some lime. And I'll give it another one, please. Oh, Jim says, I got a tattoo after a fun night of drinking mezcal. Will you be offering tattoos? No tattoos here. You'll have to have the mezcal here and go to a tattoo parlor. Uh, we don't have that here. Hello, Holly. Hello, Sven. Hello, Sean. <laughs> Everybody's laughing here. So thanks, Jim, for making us laugh today. Uh, Marcus is even laughing at that one. This is really nice. A little dry, not super sweet. Mm. So if you're looking for a cool, interesting mezcal drink, that is for you. We're going to take a picture of it. The recipe will be on our email that will go out on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to put that over here. But let me show you this really cool thing that we just got in, which is super exciting. Hello, Howard. So I'm going to just move around here a little bit, and I'm going to show you this new, new system we just got. This is a Coravon. This system here will allow me, Marcus is going to hold it. You want me to demo it? Yeah, you want to demo no, it? Come around and demo it. Um, well, no, stand on that side. Uh, yeah, you can't really stand yeah, on yeah, that yeah. side. 
So I'm gonna go on the other side and we're gonna demo this. So this is called a Corvon. You can see the needle in the middle there. We can go ahead and pour a glass of wine and I'm gonna go on the other side. So let me walk around here. Oh, here are the wines for the wine dinner. So we're getting ready uh, for our wine dinner here and Marcus is working on the wine list and putting on some ciders and he is going to give you a little bit of a demo. I'm gonna let him join my Facebook Live today for a minute. Normally I don't, but I'll let him join today. So. Yeah. All right, so previously, the Corvon system, uh, you would take these capsules and plug it into here and this is argon gas, which we're gonna needle this bottle. So this bottle has one glass of wine out of it and we're gonna take a needle and these used to have these cartridges that go in it. These are expensive. And of course, they're not good for landfills and this stuff, stuff like that. And they don't let you pour a lot, right? They, it, there's eight glasses of wine you can argon gas. So eight glasses, it's only two bottles. They're like eight bucks a cartridge. But here we have it hooked up to a tank and um, hose. So it's hooked right directly to the tank. The whole tank is $30. So uh, it costs a lot for the, the um, regulator, the contraption to do everything. That's where a lot of money is. That's the most money out of anything. So we have this needle and we're gonna put it right into the wine. Look how cool right. this is, folks. So we are into the wine right now. The needle's in there and here's what's gonna happen. So got some gas in there, some argon gas and all right, there we go. So we can pour a glass of wine. I'm gonna stop it short. And of course there's so you some can gas pour in there. as much there. as you'd like. Yep. And and now we're filling it up with argon gas. So just filled in there, cloud it up. Take the needle out. Needle comes out. Cork is so in great shape. So the cork compresses back together. And this allows us to keep wine very fresh in here. Extremely fresh so it doesn't oxidize, go bad on us. Turn to vinegar. And, and then, this right here is Nebbiolo from Do Bodegas Henri Lorton in Mexico in uh, Valle de Guadalupe, one of our Many favorites down there. So you can pour now a glass of wine. This on our list is $79. You can get, now get a glass for, a full glass for $19. And we have several other wines that we're doing that with and it's really a lot of fun. Um, so we now have a Primitivo. Primitivo. From Apulia. From Apulia. Have we have Barolo another Nebbiolo, a Barolo. Um, we have an orange wine now. So now we can pour an orange wine by the glass. And this is from, oh, this is from uh, Bodegas Henri Lorton as well. So there we go. So two Mexican wines by the glass. So that's that. So lots of wines by the glass now. So we can pour a, a nicer glass of wine. Not that our glasses of wine aren't nice, but it's a little bit more expensive, but we don't have to open the bottle and you will get a great deal if you get one of these glasses of wine. And there's a so. screw top option too. Oh yeah, there's a screw, oh, there's a screw top screw option tops. as well. Did you try it? We've done these, yep. Awesome. We did, yep. And then, um, let's see. So then we were also offering these buckets of drinks, which I'll probably talk about tomorrow. Uh, we are actually getting busy right now. So people are coming into the restaurant. So I'm going to sign off for the day. Remember, our buy one, get one free. Today is our last day for our tuna to go. And uh, is there any cross-contamination? No, there's no cross-contamination uh, between the wines because it um, it blows it out. So um, that is a good question, Sven. So thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for watching me. I appreciate it. And we will catch everybody tomorrow. I should be live tomorrow. We're actually going to be visiting a winery tomorrow. So we will probably go live while we're at the winery. How does that work with a screw-off cap? So I don't or, really or know how it works with a screw-off cap, but there's one in here. No, so, sorry, I couldn't answer. Hold on one second, Jim. So sure. it, it screws on, Jim, sure. and it seals it, and then okay. it puts the gas right into the bottle. So, um, and you yes. don't take the screw top off, but the Coravon, as you can see, goes in the middle there. So awesome, great questions, everybody. Thank you for watching me. I really appreciate it, and I will catch everybody soon. Please uh, tag a friend, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, watch me tomorrow, hopefully about 5, 5.30. Have a great night, everybody. Cheers.